You were voted Professor of the Year in 2010. <laughs> what do you think makes a great teacher? I think teaching in the MBA environment is obviously a challenge. Um, the students are demanding, they're experienced, they're paying for this in many cases themselves, mm -hmm. and so they expect a lot out of the, their classroom experience. And I think you really have, as a professor, two ways to approach teaching in, the, in an MBA environment or any kind of a graduate environment in a large classroom with 50 to 80 students or something like that. You can teach to, to some extent, the not the bottom, but the people who don't really want to be there, who aren't as compelled by whatever it is that you're talking about at that moment, in order to try to get them engaged, to have them you know, want to give you at least reasonably good teaching ratings and things like that. And certainly as we obsess about evaluations and scores and things like that, people, people go that way. I think that can be effective in certain ways, but it does tend to make, certain, make some other population of students less happy with the classroom environment. And so you can teach to that group or you can focus on teaching to the students that really want to be there. And yes, you're trying to encourage others to really want to be there as well, but you're really focused on how do I connect with the students that really, for whom, who are really passionate about this, who really want to do well at this, who want to learn what there is to, to do here. And if you take that mindset, which is the mindset I've always taken to, to any teaching environment, the path becomes relatively clear, I think. You want to challenge the students. You don't want to give them an easy pass. You want to be open to hearing their ideas and hearing what they have to say and encouraging kind of a breadth of ideas and, and discussion around that, but at the same time being willing to say when something's wrong, right? And being able to say that, look, we, we need to go down a different path and, and go a different way. And so I think this approach of kind of challenging them, forcing them to think, forcing them to take different perspectives, forcing them, them to do things that are outside of their comfort zone, because they're never, once they leave an MBA program, they're never going to have that kind of an opportunity, that kind of a right. safe opportunity to experiment, yeah. fail, and have pretty minimal consequences from, from that compared to what they're going to have in the work environment. Mm. And so I, I think that, that pushing students to really take advantage of that um, while it may turn some students off sometimes, for the ones who really want to be there, who really want to get something out of it, it's a great way to really just solidify their engagement with the class. And so that's mostly how I've approached my, my teaching experience at this point.